Hey guys, welcome to day eight of trading options on the stock market in order to just practice and try to get better at it. My name is Nick and I'm taking 90 days to paper trade. That is fake trading, simulation trading. Uh, I've had six successful days, one unsuccessful day. So pretty good so far. Looking forward to hopefully having another successful day today. Hopefully market just opened at 930. What I'm focusing on right now today is overbought, oversold rejections. Whatever it is overbought or oversold, waiting for a confirmation that it's reversed and then buying uh, either put options or call options to go long or short, uh, depending on which direction it decides to go. That's the plan. Let's see if the plan works out, if things go according to plan, hopefully, but we'll see. Uh, right off the bat, we are trading uh, QQQ today because uh, that's where I'm just trying to put my focus and my attention. I have mapped out the pre-market high and low to see how, how that's gonna work out. Basically, once again, I say it every single day and I'm not very good at it, but I'm just waiting to see if there's an overall direction before I pick up my uh, my options. Only trading one third of my account per trade at a maximum. I can trade less than that per trade, but a maximum of one third of my account per trade because I don't want to overextend myself and then end up losing everything all in one go, which has happened. IRL, a few years back, I put everything, all $7,000 that I had in my account on a couple spy options to go long and it plummeted and didn't recover for literally weeks and weeks. And so uh, because of that, I lost a lot. And by a lot, I mean literally everything. So not trying to do that, even with my fake money here, even with the play money, as it were, trying not to lose everything all at once. Zooming out here, we can kind of see uh, the past few days worth of QQQ. You see these highs and lows. We see how it, it definitely has some pretty broad swings here. And so just waiting for it to get through a consolidation period. Typically, that's what it wants to do first thing in the morning. So just going to wait on that. We are on the five minute candle. If I go to the one minute candle, we can see where it's sort of moving here. Uh, no confirmation yet as to which direction it wants to go. And with the overbought, oversold formation, rejection and confirmation, you can see it was a little bit overbought here and it did push back significantly on that one, one minute candle as it opened up. I bought those puts and we'll see if it continues to trend downward. I think it will. We'll just wait here for a moment. All right, moving in the wrong direction for me. Let's wait to see what these are going to do. Are they going to push back down? So we might be able to reclaim a little bit of that money that is currently missing here. All right, it looks like we're trending up. If we can break above that pre-market high, I think we'll, we'll have the room to go. Let's just wait another minute here. So here's what I'm looking at. And here's what I'm seeing as I'm looking at this chart. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably am. Uh, but I'm looking at this sort of movement up. And I'm also looking at this movement up because I'm thinking there might be more value for me in trading a five minute chart over the one minute chart. The one minute chart causes me to jump too quickly, I think. And so looking at the five minute chart might actually make more sense for me. Honestly, this QQQ chart is just looking pretty flat right now. Just kind of uh, waiting. I have these calls open and just waiting for it to get some momentum. Not really I might end up cutting this and just taking a loss today, but I want to see where it goes. Yeah, yesterday it traded pretty flat for a while and then it nosedived toward the end of the day. I'm not trying to stay in all day long and watch it. You can see how this right here is, is pretty boring for most of the day before it had a big drop. This right here is pretty boring. It could go either direction, uh, but I'm not trying to like sit here and watch this all day either. Uh, cause I have other things to do and to learn and all of that. So this just might not be a good trading day, All right? It looks like we're at $170, 13% on this trade. We got $40 left to recoup. And so we're getting into, we're getting very close to overbought levels here. And so I'm going to watch this closely. I'm going to get my position ready to close. So I'm going to set to market. I'm going to sell my calls. There we go. I'm going to place this order. I'm going to lock in. Hopefully we'll hit this. I'm canceling that. Did it cancel in time? Did it sell? Yeah, it sold. All right, so we're in the green, $33 on the day. Man, that was tough. We're looking for an oversold position so that we can then buy puts. We're gonna buy six puts at market, but I'm gonna wait until I see that get into the overbought position and then turn back around for a reversal. Looks like we would have continued printing on this if we would have just waited, but that's okay. I'm all right. We're in the green by $33.
we started out with 3149 so that's roughly what is that one percent that is exactly one percent of our actual trade for the day waiting for that reversal to turn around so that we can buy these puts and go short on it and make some money i'm also watching rivian down here uh just because i am interested in the moves that it's making currently we're gonna get close on this and see where we're at with this so on the five minute candle we're still pushing so i'm gonna wait on that here we go we might be reversing now let's give it a minute to decide and it's it keeps climbing up here but that's okay because we might be overbought on the one minute candle but when we're looking at the five minute candle we're not quite in that overbought position yet and what i really want to practice and, and try out because it makes sense to me mentally is the waiting for it to get to an overbought position and then reverse and confirm and then push down and if it can do that then uh, then i know the direction that it's going uh, more or less and then i can buy in at that point still pushing really strong i mean mentally i can't tell you how good it feels to be sitting in this position watching it do all this stuff and knowing that i'm not in a position and that it could go down it could go down a lot more it could go up a lot more and i don't have to worry about not knowing the direction or where it's going so definitely over bought at this point now is the the time that i just wait and see where we can strike big climb up if i would have held man i think i would have all of my uh, my profit for the day I at least hit my target goal of 10 uh, percent would have been 315 dollars we're set to market six options this thing might keep going i do have to say that this is probably some of the most fun times of, of my life in terms of making money is just being in the market watching it and just having a good time as it all happens as as it all unfolds all right looks like it's leveling out consolidating we're waiting on a reversal here let's on the five minute candle we are strongly in the overbought position a huge spike up remember anytime we see this there's always going to be a pullback that is nearly guaranteed the question is when will it happen that's the big question we can see where that broke out it's consolidating, which means it could go either way. It could continue to go up or it could plummet. We just want this thing to plummet. Let's see it drop. I'm going to buy in here. Looks like we're getting it. Let's see that pullback. Now with this, I'm fairly confident that if I just wait on this, we should see that strongly overbought. I feel like we're in the perfect position to see a comeback and to gain some, uh, some profits here on the day. All of that being said, I've been wrong before numerous times it keeps hitting that resistance and not being able to pass it so i think that we're gonna start pulling back now it is really trying to punch through that that level right there 42 bucks maybe i should just take these profits and just call it uh, a day for this because I'm not sure that i'm going to get much more out of this not doing too hot right boring and flat That's what it looks like lower lows and lower highs so we are trending downward but basically, at what point is that going to turn around and mess me up because it stops trending downward? That's the hard part. Looking at the five-minute candle, it hasn't even begun to drop yet. All right, we've got a big, big drop right here. I think I'm going to take profits as soon as this registers. Actually, I'm just going to take profits now. It, it's not worth fighting over here. We're $57 in the green. Going to wait until I see it uh, either move up or break this, this awkward, just uncomfortable holding pattern here. Here we go. I think we're about to break. On the upside, we're set to buy calls. This might break through our resistance here. If it does, we're gonna buy these calls and uh, hopefully get some payment. Definitely starting to curl around. We're gonna wait for that confirmation. Let's look at the five minute chart. Looks like it's gonna climb. 25 seconds left on this candle. Here we go. I think we're moving up. I mean, overall for the day, the way it looks to me is it's a really strong day for the bulls. For, for buying calls, it's really strong. Uh, even in that, that consolidations pullback period it was almost flat that's such a minuscule move downward uh, that i think that it's going to it's going to do well and it's going to reverse here and continue climbing up there we go moving on to the upside twenty dollars in let's get ready to close the position for whenever it does warrant closing definitely struggling to hit my overall goal for the day and i don't know here's where i'm a beginner this is what i'm saying just difficult for me uh, I'll eventually get it, but right now, still learning. Pushing up, it broke through, up $35, 92 profit on the day. All right, here's the big jump that we're waiting for. Up $45 on this trade, waiting for it to push a little bit and hold. 
Looks good on the five minute. Looks good on the one minute. Getting up there, 132 profit on the day. Solid push. There it is. I'm selling right there. We'll see what it locks in at. $157 on the day, less than my 10% goal. However, I'm happy with it. Yesterday was a big red day. Today we closed it out green. Super happy with that. Can't complain. Oh, 167, it cleared. Uh, 167 on the day. Very happy with that. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was not a painful video, uh, but it was a video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.